I'm Lauren um, from Highlands of Scotland, came down to Edinburgh for um, college to study music business and met Katie. Yeah, so I, I'm Katie and I met Lauren uh, at Edinburgh College doing uh, music business and I'm from North Berwick but kind of based in Edinburgh. Um, together we at college decided to collab together, put yeah. on a promotions company and um, we're called Underground Sounds. Yeah, we thought that was the easier way of doing our graded <laughs> unit and kind of split. So was it like a project that was created for yeah. yes. like education? You had to do yeah, it. Yeah, like originally, yeah. For, had to do it. We had the same sort of motives. We had the same ideas. So yeah. we decided right. to jump in and do it together. Two, two minds are better than one. So yeah. Right. Is that the kind of thing you wanted to do anyway in life? And it's kind of like a step in? Yeah, yeah it's always like, been there. So to jump in with someone that you like as well, yeah, you know, it makes so things much, much easier. easier. Yeah, so much easier. Yeah, because if you're doing it with someone you don't like, that'd be <laughs> <a struggle>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so like what kind of stuff have you done with Underground Sound? Um, we've done quite a few gigs. Uh, we've done like, it's not all like the same genre though, like you did... Is it mostly like promoting? Yeah, mostly promoting. Yeah, Katie does some reviews and stuff. Yeah, I do like write-ups and interviews. But we, um, we've got We Records as well, which is like a side project that we had at college. So like we did it and then we collab with like Craig from Gig Mouth and then Kathy who does Cycle. And kind of all like got a wee record label as well. Mm. That was again part of our college work. Right. Um. So we all were in the same class. We all got along. We were put into groups. Um. So and like that's another not? slight side project yeah. that we've I always sort of had right running day, in the I background. I thought we were going to be put of people you know <laughs> we not necessarily got along with because our two classes like merged, uh, going in second year when we did this project. But we're really lucky like that we got to work together and like Craig we're like really close with and Kathy. So it was like, actually really good. Work. In terms of like, oh sorry, go ahead. No, I just worked with um, a band called Between the Lines and um, recorded a record with them um, in the college studios and sort of got that mastered and mixed um, and put that out. So that's yeah. another that's sort awesome, of side. Yeah. Where can you hear that? Where can people listen to that? Uh, it's on Spotify. Uh, Spotify, might go on SoundCloud. There you go, check Apple that out. Apple Music, all the get, places. Get, on it. <laughs> get that listened to. Was it like a minimum of like 14 seconds before it co- like is considered a lesson, uh, right? So just no, said it, just it, listen I to it. I think it's longer than that. Is it, is it really? I think about, is it not 30? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure. sure 30, like I trust you. I, I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I studied this. <coughs> I they so only get like 0. 0.004 pence or something for a stream, so. Yeah. Get, get, on repeat. get, get listening, vicious, boys. Yeah. Come on, do, do them a favour. Come on, they need it. Get on it. And it's awesome as well. Just great content. You need to check it out. Uh, you're welcome. I'm <laughs> plugging this hard on you guys. Thank you. Um, but yeah, do you think that's like a better form of like education when you actually are doing stuff rather than oh, just like kind of like learning about it from the outside 100 i went to uni before i went into college and i dropped out because i hated it like didn't like the structure of it but like when i went to college it was like it's very hands-on rather than mm. yeah. like just sitting right in an essay mm. you know uh, we were out like meeting bands seeing venues pricing things up for real stuff. life and yeah. using our yeah. own money to actually put these gigs on as well yeah and we got um, less to go theory to like more practical yeah. like and all that in the moment kind of yeah. like life life skills life skills for this kind of industry Absolutely. Yeah, it's networking like, like, yeah you, here's like what you should do but like go do it opposed to like writing essays on it sort of thing very so you just get based. like left to go run wild and if you need <laughs> help like you can give them a shout kind of thing or like sometimes it's a bit like so that. yeah <laughs> Um, I've never went to college or university. I know nothing about this. Like, I think the course we did, to be honest, is quite different. Uh, it's solely bad. Because it's quite like an art-based. Mm. You know, everyone has their own ideas. There's no right or wrong yeah, answer as such. Um, you know, there was gigs that failed, but that doesn't That's necessarily totally mean that yeah. they didn't do well in the course, you know? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Like, yeah, well, I guess you can't really learn without kind of failing as yeah. well. Like, I know that's a cliche, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you really definitely. can't. Like, you kind of have to have those wrongs to find out, like, how to manoeuvre around it, things. Uh, absolutely, especially when you're dealing with people in the music industry. <laughs> so is that what you want to go on to, like, after that? So you both, like, look into promote, as, or is it other things within this industry? Mainly promotion. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I quite like promotions, but, like... I think that's I our mean, strong point as well. Do. Right near enough anything um, near enough anything <laughs> well, like, there's like so many different jobs like there's management and that mm. you manage bands but i quite like tour management so like right i do that anything really like yeah. quite practical based stuff so you know like getting out there and yeah. meeting the bands and you know there's, contacts there's loads and, and loads of like different jobs and people don't really like think over they just think oh you have to put on a gig mm. but like there's people that just specifically do like social media promotion or social mm. media like creation 
Yeah, there's like I guess the more you learn about a culture, there's so many subcultures that exist within oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not just one thing. What is it that you're like? Why are you so drawn to music? It's just been something that's always been there. Um, mm. My brother, he was a guitarist, played in a band, and I just wanted to be like him. Right. So I picked up the guitar, couldn't play very well, <laughs> um, tried the drums, was a little bit better at that, um, was in a pipe band. It's just something that's always been there, but I didn't really like the performing aspect of it. Right. I preferred seeing it, being right. there, yeah. having those vibes, those yeah, energies. It's definitely like, you definitely feel kind of like a buzz, especially if like the crowd's going like, insane and like it's like a really good gig and you're yeah. like i made that happen <laughs> yeah, yeah. i mean like it's like wow like that's interesting because i guess i've never thought about it like that i always think like oh it must be awesome to be on stage like doing your thing and stuff like yeah, that but then like, totally i guess it is even but for the people that put that on like they're the people that manage this yeah. they're probably getting that same buzz they're getting that same oh, excitement I think thinking so, definitely. like yeah. i was a part of this and an integral part as well yeah yeah it's do you think it's like almost underappreciated what you do because of that? Like people don't really think about what goes on behind the scenes? Um, I think maybe like higher up. So like if you go to a gig at the Hydro, like you're not really thinking like they've created this, like mm. like there's 13,000 people or something. Yeah, there. yeah. Like not everyone's going to be like, oh, this went into this and it's like in mm. a big schedule and they've had sound checks and they've like had weeks of promotion. Whereas like, I think we're quite lucky where it's like, lower level people are like all the more for grassroots and like people are more thinking yeah, yeah. that kind of way we're like it's kind of more of a scene whereas it's like mm. the bigger it gets i feel people are more like disconnected yeah diluted. definitely people I, just go for I, the music at that point they don't think about the bigger picture i guess yeah or like they, they don't really think about like the individual people mm. like or sp- like especially with like tickets and that like oh, oh it's just ticket master but like i know there's like issues with that but like there's people genuinely sitting doing their job it's like a ticket agent and being like creating this it's like not their fault do you know what i mean so in some aspects yeah but in yeah. some I aspects like, no yeah some depends what kind of scene I where you are like what, yeah. what what level you're at really yeah i, I think i'm quite appreciated i feel like people feel appreciate like people do message us and be like oh like yeah. i've heard this and this about you like we would love to work with you that's awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really I think weird. social media helps as well. Uh-huh. Definitely. Mm. Like, yeah, you know, to use we've, that we've as like had a tool. bands and stuff from like USA and stuff messaging us. It's oh, like, how did really? you find us? Yeah. And it's all, all through social media. So those connections build, uh, but probably at that around. level, they don't truly like feel what we're doing. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, we've had like social media is a massive it, big I thing for real. us, definitely. Out with social media, what else do you utilize, really? Posters, uh, um, flyers, flyers like mailing lists. Well? Do they do well? Uh, is it yeah, hard to no, kind of gauge? It's hard, hard yeah. Like, if you're in, I suppose, Edinburgh, you're in the fringe and you're getting mm, all this stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like that. You kind of look at it. The mailing list, that works quite well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, a mailing list. Discounted tickets and stuff do like that. Can I give that a wee shout out <laughs> to the sign up? Oh, I don't even know the list. <laughs> <laughs> it's on MailChimp. <laughs> I know that, but... You can send me the link and I'll, I'll put it in the, the, the bio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Yeah, but I think like more of like the traditional media is kind of like not as relevant anymore. Like mm. Definitely with our generation, you know, and upcoming yeah, generations. Definitely. No so one like looks, print and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, no one reads newspapers, magazines are yeah. and, like, falling, I feel. And kind of like looking and like recycling and all that. Like if you're using a poster, it's going to... Yeah, but that's like a thing like people want stuff to be eco- like ecologically or whatever friendly is that the word you ecologically no, I don't think that's so the word. is that the word i don't know if that's the word just like I don't think environmentally word. environmentally friendly yeah. is that the word <laughs> what's ecologically <laughs> no, i don't know <laughs> really want to know what I you mean <laughs> but uh i like they don't want well i feel like people think it's a waste sometimes. yeah people don't want waste but when it's on the internet you, you know it's like ah, you can there's no it waste yeah. you want like it's yeah. no, no, no much you cost can, well yeah, yeah you can keep po- like posting it but like if you're like plastering electronic places, posters don't destroy the planet exactly. <laughs> facts Fact. yeah yeah but like if you're handing up flyers and that chances are they're getting bent mm. or chucked or chucked not even in the bin <laughs> like yeah it might not even make it but uh. everything everything builds up you know if you, if you drop the posters <laughs> might not work so well yeah keep it all going just do as much as you can i think yeah. that's the way forward yeah um so like what's the uh the side project what was it called again sorry we records we records do you want to talk about that and like how you got started with that and what yeah. the plan is with that so like in f- 
second year we just kind of were told you're starting a record label and we're like cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was yeah, yeah. Time. yeah <laughs> just days, jump in, in. Yeah. you get put in groups for your record label this is what's happening and then also we were put in our group and then we thought of we records and then we got a logo done by one of craig's pals and it was really good and then we just kind of went from there kind of reached out to bands see how many people did we go like listen to like we had oh, to like listen to like so many scouting through them all yeah. trying to because yeah, so there was like, four of us trying to, to all agree like, hmm. all the different positions so like we did like ar and like scouting and all that and then we had to what's do ar artist and repertoire yeah oh okay <laughs> and you had to do what sorry you had to do ar you had to do, uh, we had to do marketing what was the other ones marketing and um, like publishing yeah finance and all that right. so like it was like all proper like you had to do like a proper costings for like recording and then in reality you, i guess like there'd be different people doing these jobs though you would only do like one part right that's, oh, that's yeah that's we, what, like, we what split happened up a bit right. thing, but like yeah there's like four sort of main sections there's four people so we each sort of took one um, right. bigger record labels also like it's not going to be like one person doing like everything yeah, yeah. but like we were kind of so it was quite small a, scale <laughs> uh, so we had a taste of like what each kind of bit had to do and is that something either you'd be interesting going into or is it more like the promotion management side of it rather than like record label i think it's probably really hard to get into proper record labels yeah. now I, pr- I prefer the promotion of marketing yeah. definitely putting on the gigs you know recording I, I studio and that is mm. quite stressful like, being at the gig marketing. once it's on you're like yes yeah. <laughs> i guess there's there is something special about being at a place I and like experiencing the music yeah rather than just kind of like Send me your earphones yeah. out and you're alone. <laughs> yeah. days doing record label stuff, like scouting, like mm. sometimes even going through our emails, I get tired. <laughs> like, like people are like, hey, like, can you put it on this gig? And I'm like, I don't have a time frame. Like, it's quite. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of work in the background. You know, yeah. what, what we put on social media isn't. That's just like the tip of the uh, iceberg. Yeah. There's a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah, the go- that's the good looking stuff. Yeah. All the, uh, yeah, all the struggle no one sees. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I but th- is that like does that give it a bigger reward in a sense like you have to invest so much time and effort into yeah, it so definitely. when it does go right you're like yes yes, yes. <laughs> well. it's scary though like when you are doing it yourself because i think mm. people think you're like a company that's like proper mm. registered and you've got funding but it's like just too no this is this is just you. too last yeah. <laughs> your With pockets her, uh, yeah. yeah just have money literally for yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah it's good though you get that extra buzz like I being mean, at a gig I is something special but when you've mm. put that on and you see everyone enjoying themselves the mm. band are going wild it's, it's, it's just like yes i put this yeah. all together and everyone's having a blast that's good that's very awesome yeah is there like a specific genre you want to go into like and, and we're We've very open yeah. everything we had baseline and techno was mm. the first night i did i had an indie night and the night after I bands um, and then you did the i've had like a mc rap sort yeah, of scene kind of grind most day yeah and then on tonight one of the lassies does like rapping and sort of grind stuff so like it's are all these scenes like popular in edinburgh right now uh, <laughs> yeah no <laughs> <laughs> the, la- the, last, the last one i put on that mc on it it, it flopped yeah really? but it's a, it's something to learn from yeah, you know curve, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely so we'll try somewhere maybe glasgow i think we'll go down better there we just need to the market research and all that sort of stuff behind it um uh, but i'm happy to try anything you know yeah, like yeah, of course. take it there if they, there's, happen, there's probably yeah. someone there there was obviously a few people attended but yeah it's didn't not, make a, a <laughs> didn't make profit as uh, um like all the gigs you put on in edinburgh so far yeah. yes yeah. yeah yeah so you've never like you don't know really what might I've sell better <laughs> there sell better here kind of thing you yeah. i've been asked to do glasgow but it's also like i have to get to glasgow and i probably wouldn't be able to get home and then have mm. to there's a lot more costs I involved just, for us which just puts costs everything out. Like yeah. hotels and you can't so afford so that <laughs> well no complicated like, mm. and especially in glasgow if you're not like got a name or you don't have like a really good glasgow band there's so many other things going on in the same night like yeah. you're kind of like pitting yourself against everyone else these, oh, the entire set yeah yeah like yeah. the scene's amazing but like to jump into it must be pretty like you're in scary, the deep end yeah. that's scary stuff um like so when you're talking about like how that kind of flops like how do you know 
like do you have any idea were you like a bit nervous about your thing and maybe this one won't go right no you're, nah you're, i was always positive I got it. to be I'm positive different. i always think it's gonna go <laughs> <laughs> i'm like no I'm we're like, fine we're so fine bad. Um, that's a perfect duo then if you always think well, like, we, gonna we definitely balance each other out yeah definitely. definitely i think yeah. that's why we work well together 100 yeah. percent um, but yeah, it, it was a bit of a flop, but the MCs Ice. that played, everyone had a really Everyone's good night that was yeah. there. It was oh. just, I it's had a really exposure. good night. Um, the, it was just the profits that flopped. Mm. But you know, we have these times, like it didn't bother me. Mm. We got on, as long had, as had a few drinks, happy, forgot yeah. about it at school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it depends on how big the loss is as well. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're doing it a smaller sort of thing, it's kind of a smaller loss, if it's a smaller mm, venue, try, yeah, smaller yeah. fees. So and like, you can get like going again. <laughs> quite quick I guess but yeah. we've jumped from one end of the scale to the other I mean I've had what like maybe 30 people and then you've sold out Sneaky Pete's so mm. yeah. we're from and the last know, time we were in here it was uh, I think 120 to 130 people were in here before the last one in here that sounds awesome yeah there's a lot real. of variables in it but it's yeah. like yeah. sometimes you just don't when. tell like you can like start promoting it three months before and then like the sales will only come like the week before and mm. then like you've gone from like 10 or 15 sales and now you've got like 70 it's advanced. just so unpredictable Aye. is like, there any like secret like that you kind of use i wish no nah, nothing <laughs> you just hope <laughs> for the best sometimes i discount tickets for a bit and do like a sort mm. of like promotion like deal trying if I just feel anything like, that kind of works yeah there's all these little like, I, I tactics we have done like pretty much all sorts of like mm. things to push our try and get other companies and stuff to (laughs) underground sounds mind that yeah try and get other companies and stuff to just you know promote and Mm, we all sort of work together Mm. in in we're on like in a sort of small group we all bounce off each other we all help each other right you know oh you need this i need that like okay cool um sharing each other's posts like it's it's such a small thing but it it does Um, the world of good like it kind of like a you scratch my back i scratch yours kind of thing exactly Exactly. yeah which definitely probably doesn't exist on like large scale gigs (laughs) Um, no (laughs) they're like no no no. i hope you fail for yourself yeah in scotland go and play golf like together one day wait who's this all the big promoters in scotland so like df Triple G, regular <laughs> music. Yeah, they, they go every single year to Loch Lomond and play golf. What? That's amazing. Let's join. As, Can so we join? They're all like, proper against each other, but like they're not really. I think. I'll call out. That sounds well. Call out. I think. I feel like though it's not. You can't really be against each other when they're that big. Mm, yeah. Like. Mm. Mm, really. I'm suspicious. Mm, <laughs> what's going on there? Yeah, there's mm. something weird going on. But there was like yeah. a, an article recently about it, and it had like a picture of all of them, and I was like. Oh, we're all pals, really. And I was like, <laughs> Doubt really? it. All back to your <laughs> day jobs. That's what enemies would say. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something yeah. weird going on. Going on. <laughs> uh, I don't trust that. Sacrificing like Luke Capaldi. <laughs> getting Scottish blood. Um, so, yeah, what do you think, just like off topic, not really like to do with what you're doing, but just in general, what, what do you think is going good with like the music scene in Scotland? Luke Capaldi. Luke Capaldi. <laughs> See the oh. one of them. No, well, he, I think he's like a really good <laughs> example of like, zero like nothing mm. to like boom but like anyone can make it kind of thing yeah but i don't know he did he's done quite a few small gigs i know i know people that had gone and seen him like mm. on like other places in the calgate and it was like 30 people turned up but you all start somewhere oh yeah yeah, yeah i feel like Absolutely. they're like good like people to kind of see like have gone from because like jerry simon was like a busker mm. and sold out hamden now yeah like, that's insane. crazy isn't it but um so like on a big scale they're like kind of the people to look to but like on smaller scale there's like Walt Discord doing like insane yeah. insane amounts Finley who's in it was in our college course mm-hmm. and like dropped out at the end of college and went to do it and everyone was like don't do that and, like, <laughs> he's smashing yeah, it he's, he's, doing all right. he's, he's de- he made the right decision <laughs> definitely they're gonna play South by Southwest aren't yeah. they and like they've had brand deals with Doc Martens like they're getting they're and winning. they had, had a film about them oh, for Glasgow. Ticketmaster yeah for Ticketmaster like they've done so well jeez oh. they've done so well but I feel like they're just like next level like nobody really is like them yeah they were quite different mm. they were breaking the mould they were doing something well, different yeah they, and they kind Change of like incorporate drag but it's not mm. like drag and like full drag but they'll put on like makeup and they'll wear like the extravagant clothes mm. and like act flamboyant I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. I feel like they'll probably have quite a few people copying them, though. Mm, I reckon yeah. they'll be like, 
many walks. Might, might it's too to be like at the front of like yeah something like that a movement in a sense. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely yeah, are. That's quite awesome. Because there's quite a few like Glasgow bands that kind of they pal about with you. Following mm. in your footsteps. Aye, definitely. When there's like the whole punk thing going on at the moment, mm. and that's really good. Like Parley Ammo. Parley Ammo are amazing. Yeah, they're class. Riot bands. Craig manages them. They're really good. Anyone Gala. you want to give a shout out yeah. to? Yeah. Shout out <laughs> she's gone through all of them. Um, Amy Lou, she's mm. one of she's our favourites. Um, we love her. Oh, she's just, um, yeah, Scottish female. We, we're we into that. <laughs> we're Scottish, yeah. we're female. Um, <laughs> you know, Taking we'll all the boxes. <laughs> Quite simple, <laughs> really. Yeah, no, Amy's so really good. She's got a new single out today called Tonic Wine. Can we shout out Boom. to you? Check we'll that stream out. that because yeah. she needs money. 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> she needs 30 seconds. That's all. I, it is. That's all. After 31, you can stop playing it. Yeah. And then play it again. 30 and seconds. Yeah. <laughs> some, some people like play it on loop when they're sleeping but have the volume down. Like, yeah, bands have done that. Does that work? Does that really work? It works to get the streams up so they can hit a certain amount. Amy's asked me to do it before. <laughs> I would just like get like <laughs> half a dozen phones like old phones oh, imagine, eh? right and then spotify. and then just like get spotify on each of them well, there's been some bands not going to name them oh they've, they've paid oh. for like so excited <laughs> they like have boosted streams does that work does it kind of like get them I in think a, like it's just like spotify fake, playlist fake, like likes on instagram isn't it you kind of mm. just buy like people are obviously doing it and it's fake accounts mm. But I uh, there's been bands that uh, pay for like to go on a playlist. Mm. I don't know how many people do that or not, but they, they like pay. Not seeing so any names. Mm. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll totally know I'm talking about them as well. But yeah. They're all breaking us out like, oh my god, is she gonna say the name? Is she gonna say the name? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't like if that's what they want to do to try and boost their way up and they can pay for it. Fake like, it till you make it. I mean, I'm <coughs> not really against that. If you if you can do it, why not? If you want to pay like. for our likes, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> if we could afford to buy that, we'd probably would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like uh, uh, if you could, you would. But uh, there's definitely a few bands that do that. Like, would you look back at it? So if you became famous because of that, would you really look back at it and go, oh, I really regret buying no. those? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just nah. do it. If you're doing it. I don't know how expensive it is, though. Hmm. It's all part of business. It is. Um, is there anything you want to plug? Anything you want to give a shout out to? For yourself, any, um, any gigs coming up? I've got a gig coming up in May, I think 7th of May, Thursday, it's Sneaky Pete's. It's in cooperation with uh, Music Venue Trust, so they're doing a thing for women promoters, and it's called uh, Fight Back Promoters. So there's like women across the whole of the UK, There's I think I might be the only Scottish one doing it. And then um, we get funding to put on a gig. All right. And then the profit goes to like the music venue trust and they kind of like boost us up right there's not that many women promoters right okay and i think there's non-binary people doing it as well so it's like kind of like queer people or like women who are like not as well presented in like the industry right. but it's quite exciting yeah yeah that sounds brilliant i think casual drag are headlining well they said they are but i've not put it out there so it's an exclusive <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> I there know. you go, boys. Uh, Hope you're listening. Yeah. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> no, I know. I know. <laughs> Got heart palpitations. All this, like, gossip. <coughs> um, yeah, they're really good. They're like an Edinburgh punk band. So I'm quite excited for that. Awesome. Anything you want to give a wee shout out to? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Um, I'm mm-hmm. working in backgrounds at the moment. Um, social medias? Yeah. Anything you want to promote the social medias? Uh, Instagram. We're underground sounds and everything. Yeah. Instagram, so, Twitter, Facebook. SoundCloud. Um, YouTube as well, yeah. Yeah, YouTube, Music Glue. <laughs> what do you put on your YouTube? Uh, we had like I'm trying to think what was a couple of there. live videos I from, think gigs, like from gigs, I think, no. um, mm. and promotional videos for the gigs as well. Right. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, don't use it so much. No, In- Instagram and Facebook. There. That's if we Twitter. do get like good videos, we'll put up on like on it. But if it's not really worth doing, then stay tuned for possibly good videos. <laughs> possibly, maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, thank you for coming on, like thank talking you and stuff like that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's usually awesome to speak with you. You're doing awesome things, and you're like you. uh, you're doing something different from just the norm, and that's awesome to hear about. Amazing. So thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks.